not wear makeup. <laughs> she's ugly. She's like, why are you talking to me? No, you. She looks. They find you like physically attractive, yeah. Isn't that so rude? She's always looked fine. She just. I think her insecurity is that she thinks she needs makeup. Yeah. But no, fast yeah, pretty much so. is real, by the way. Yeah. Doesn't it go both ways? No, I think men do it more than women. I'm oh, sure they're attractive guys, people are just nicer than you, but for me, I talk to ugly men all the time. I'm never like rude to them, you know? Okay, if girls are only nice to guys they find attractive, no one would ever have a nice woman in their life. No offense. Huh? Um, a crystal ball to tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, anything else. What would you want to know? Ooh, I would ask a ball. Well, actually, what I want to know. I think ignorance is bliss, right? The less I know, the better. I don't think I would ask want to ask anything. Like, no joke. I wouldn't ask anything. I think it's better to not know. But once I know, even if it's a good thing, I'm gonna be paranoid and worry about it the whole time. So, I wouldn't ask anything. Nice. We just hit the goal. <laughs> of uh, 70 followers. Uh, ooh, sugar baby. I'll have to do a I random baby. draw. Oh Probably tomorrow on who will get uh, I had do free artwork or if they, they want the one hour coaching the for the group. The sex is great, but I'm not interested in her. I regret getting into a relationship with this gold digger. I shouldn't have to pay for things. She is 20. Um, I know people disagree with my take, but I think you are not the victim you are claiming to be. Because, first of all, you are 45. Why were you in communication with a 20-year-old anyway? Right? You chose to talk to that person. And a 45-year-old dude talking to a 20-year-old? Bro, like, what? Beneficial, right? You're with her because she's young and hot. She's with you because you're rich and are giving money. You guys both benefit, so you can't just like change your mind. Like, yeah, you know what she's using me. You were using her too. You know, if she wasn't young and hot, would you talk to her? So you guys both like gain something from it. If you don't want to do it anymore, just don't do it. You know, but like, don't make yourself the victim when you weren't. I'm glad Chad agrees. Okay, but yeah, they're both using each other. When I was 11, I faked my death and moved out of town to ghost my girlfriend. Then later, when I was 13, I dated my exes, the same girl I ghosted, sister for a year, then ghosted her. Are you guys okay? <laughs> Why would anyone want to do this? Similar situation with the five-year relationship guy, but six years. What's the least amount of times from a breakup would you be okay with if you're at a date someone who's got a long relationship? Ooh. Okay, I need chat to answer this too. How long do you need someone to be single for before you can date them? You think six months? Really? Hmm. I think it's very situational, yeah? Oh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay. Because when I... <laughs> that's so sad. I think girls mentally break up with you before the actual breakup has taken place. You know? No, men and women can be... You know? Devastated, like crippled, like embarrassed, emotional damage, well, for me to date, or get over a person for, like, in a relative terms I of I any kind of imbalance. So, yeah. so like someone could break up with someone who was really like, they were never 50 50, it was more like 80 20. One dude was 20% in and also, she's 80% so in, or one dude is 60% in and she's 40% in, or one dude is 50% and she's 50% in and they go their separate ways. No hard feelings, they both mutually respect each other. But the our relationship was like 70, 30. I had a and like she's 70% in, he's 30% in. So he's only 30% kind of putting in. She's putting 70% of the energy, love, attention, and whatever. So yeah, like, and then the, how you react and respond to that is based on someone's upbringing. But, I like to think I keep all my promises. I mean, I'm kind of thinking like there's a promise. If you ever had a promise, you regret not being able to keep. I promise I'll love you forever. I'll never leave you. LOL. I'm but I think everyone says that, no? They but they've also promises. broken that promise to me. So it's, it's mutual, no? Let's just move on. I flew with my best I've friend whose boyfriend is in Korea. A few months later, I flew to Korea and slept with her again? Man of integrity. Huh? Okay, I think if you ever have bought a flight, an international flight to go have sex, you're down horrendous. I'm you can't get, um... Gucci in the States, or wherever you're from? 
How many of these tops do you have? Uh, I have two. a lot of screaming tops. I feel like tops like this I don't like wear off stream. I have like my whole streaming outfits and I have like my in real life outfits. So I have a lot. I, okay, I don't know if you noticed this. I only wear a top once every two months. I don't wear a top oh. until the bot expires. So I have oh. a lot. There you go, Kayla. Mario so yeah, I have more streaming clothes than real life clothes. Hi, Matumba. My best friend's wife is my soul. What? My best friend's wife is my soulmate. And I'm pretty sure I'm in love with her. We vibe so much every time we hang out. Uh, I feel like she's reciprocating what I feel. They're my best See? friends, so I don't have to explain oh, what I feel. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like this could be a real story, you think? I just burped, sorry. I feel like, though, you might think she's reciprocating when she thinks it's her friend. <laughs> if I was married what? and you're Why did Kim Pecky say... Friend, I'd be so I think I've seen because, like, in my head, you're my husband's best happened. friend, right? My best friend's so, wife is my soulmate? Bro, nice what? Because of what you are to in him. the... Right? Oh I honestly God. think if you feel this strongly, you should not be... It's fictitious. Away from both There's of no them. death in your fate. And let's say she did reciprocate, right? You're gonna ruin oh. their marriage? Your best friend's marriage? Really? Oof. Yeah, good luck with that one. What is your opinion on friendship and relationship between avoidant and what people? What are they Can talking about, man? Expectations and boundaries, okay, people. So my Understand where two people are at. Like, you're either fucking with each other, uh, no like you're kicking with each other, you're vibing with each other. Uh, I, I and the boundaries need to be where they're you know, placed at, whether or not they have their respect, they don't have their respect. Are they feel like they're competing or they feel like they're partners in a relationship? It's kind of like this. So, no, me and Yaga have the same everything. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, me and Yaga are both very level people. Who hurt you? Who didn't? Ouch. I, I wasn't like I'm that. I'm sorry. Uh... No, I remember when I was, I have this like vivid memory of me in kindergarten, right? Um, where my okay. mom was late to picking me up from like, kindergarten. I was crying so much because I thought my mom would never. No, come. that. And she was only like five, she was like ten minutes late. That relationship between you and your mother is a different a combination of love, emotion, and affection that you will have to, like, finding a partner so you know. Now, your parental relationships, whether or not you want to mend that, is on the personal note. I heard that in order for you to get over, like, your bad attachment style, you have to date someone who's, like, healthy and secure, and they have to help you get out of that. That means all the guys I dated have not been that. Oh, my so God, Kaylee. That's why I'm still fucked up, I guess. Why are you... You, oh my goodness, is she is bed, something else. Thing? Depends on how long. Okay, I ask this question all the time. I need an honest answer. This is a safe space, judge and free zone. On average, okay, on average, what is like your lasting time? I don't. I don't have one. I'm over it. If he talks, I, I can't do it. My people. Can run 150 miles. Sorry, I don't have a really? limit. Really, guys? Really? <laughs> could jog 33 miles okay, right okay. now. Okay, I, under 10, or I train for long distance. I rather have under 10 than over 15. I think over 15 is too long. Um, and for me, my ego is very fragile. Okay, if a guy cannot finish over like after 10 minutes, I'm like, oh my god, is my cootie trash? So. I would rather you last too short than too long, for the sake of my ego, you know? But it's not true, though. My peoples, like, the Dorada Mirai, like, like, can like, run 100 miles, or 150 like, well, miles. I, I don't have a this. limit. So you know? Hi, Mike. Yeah, I think the no woman is could ever you know, I think uh, I keep up with me unless so she can also run 100 miles. So physically, hurting, no? you know, just, you know. The hole starts tingling and going numb from pain. Okay, I don't feel numb. I feel like after like 20, I'm like, I don't even think I can like make moisture anymore, you know? That, that means Kaylin has never, she has yet to find love. She has yet to find a man weird. that this is what I don't like about where she's in love. Men. I said some, okay? Now she loves... Uh, she loves she all want men. And just wants this. You guys are still questioning it. And I respect that. She wants and you doesn't know, she, want. But... she wants to be your friend and that's it. Why are you still questioning? You know? Either be your friend or move on. Yeah, it is what it is. And this is also my opinion. This goes for both girls and guys. 
If you ever, if you ever have to well, convince the that means the day, you, you're not the one. The day that uh, Caitlyn does find, I'll be, I'll be happy for Caitlyn because the day she does okay, find a man that she yes. loves, she'll finally experience not sex, but love. I and when your love making is completely in the different. Bedroom, but pretty much exclusively uh, attracted to women. So yeah. Am I really gonna find girls who are into that? She she might like certain them? aspects she's probably you know, seen sure and keep hearing the other kind of sisterhood. Not sisterhood. Well the sisterhood is all women kind of talking about or womanhood. Yeah, but it's the colloquial terms of uh, overhearing other I mean, people having great sex. But really what it is, it's she's overhearing two people that have fallen in love. And then just one singular time. I don't even know. The only time I've done it is when I was like really drunk. So if I'm drunk, I will lick anything. Kate, so that's not safe. So probably not do safe. it. Safe. Know how your guys' hygiene levels are at? Is it on the lower end? Sober, fam. <laughs> because if she, if Caitlyn is saying that she's only enjoying Ivan, what is uh, sex or making is love when she's using? like drunk, that's not Daily? sex. I just heard she's because going just the rug. and it's starting to smell rancid. I'm worried my mom's gonna find the gonorrhea. What are you guys even typing? Someone confesses that they are just adding it's crazy. It's weird trying to date a second coworker when I've dated one for a year. Um, Stop dating coworkers. Dating Chat. Ever. Oh my goodness, dude, that's such. Yeah, this one time my coworker hit on me. I brushed it off. One week later, I helped her at her desk and actually <sighs> drooled a little on her desk. Huh? We, oh, hit on you. Hit on you. Oh my, I read it wrong. Um. Okay, real question for Chad again. Have you guys ever drooled from an interaction with a woman? Uh, that's not even, that's like a cartoon thing, no? If you're actually drooling from, like, women, you need to, like, talk to more, gain more XP once again. Okay, yeah, I'm glad Chad said no, like, what? That's weird. Can a dude, um, the how would I describe it? won't come out of my pussy and it's starting to smell. Why would you even sit up there? I'm trying to think, have I ever stuck anything weird up mine? No, because I'm not weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever stuck anything up there besides a tampon and dick. I don't think I'll... Yeah, that's it. For now. I've been dating this girl for years. We just moved in, but now it feels like we're roommates. Ooh. Been there, done that. I've been trying romantic and taking her on dates and surprising her, but nothing's changed for Damn, I guess I've been streaming for four hours. Didn't even know. Um, I think what? it's getting stale. What do you mean, like... Oh, so you're going on the dates and it's still stale. Break up. <laughs> but like, what are they They're just dating, up? just... Okay, besides breaking up, yeah, have, like, a one-on-one -on -one talk with her, like, I've noticed, like, it's kind of dry. What can we do to change that? If neither people are willing to think of options, then maybe I guess we should break up. But, yeah. I mean, I think uh, moving in together is, like, make it or break it, right? Either you guys live together forever, or you guys realize, like, wow, we're not a match. So, maybe you just aren't a match. Hmm. John C. Is that yours? How does one get onto the shows? Um, come into my therapy streams, sub interviews, and that's how we notice you to scout you for future dating shows. Oh. Do you think it's wrong to get a non-sexual message, or sorry, non-sexual massage from the opposite sex of your inner relationship? Well, if it's non-sexual, then no. Okay, let me ask Chat. If your girlfriend was getting a non-sexual massage from another man, would that bother? Was it, is that cheating? Micro cheating? Uh, I'm gonna say it's not, but at the same time, gold standards, if you're my boyfriend, but why, don't girl, but it's fucking why can't ever, my so that's fucking cheating. future wife why can't I go you? to a spa? <laughs> why what? Can't you go to why can't my future wife go to a spa? Like, what is Chad talking about right now, though? So. No, I, I think that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. That's a little too touchy for me. Yeah. Well, oh, when will Logan ever have a dating show? Okay, so after what I did to him on the button, he said he'll never do a show again. I actually wanted to give him a dating show so badly, but I think he said no, because I traumatized him. So, yeah, I need a different bachelor for the next one. I made over 500k at 19 years old. I have multiple super <laughs> supercars, and I feel like women are fighting for my money. I know most of them do, but at this point, I can ever oh touch a woman. Goodness. Okay. I spent over 80 to 120k on just flying girls out, fucking and getting them bags. You know why girls want you for your money? Because you're giving them this much and flying them out. Bro, how this dude 
You know how to make a girl not want you for money? Just don't talk about it. Like, why even mention you have money in the first place, you know? Just don't bring it up. Oh. If you think girls want you for your money, that is your own fault. This last answer is your own question. It's probably because having money right, is your right. own personality right. What? You know? Do what? <laughs> My fiance's sex drive is way bigger than mine. How do I cope? Ooh. Just compromise, I guess? I don't know. I feel like sex is kind of hard to compromise, though. My Maybe fiance. Maybe buy her or him a nice little toy? <laughs> um. Yeah, there has to be a way to balance it out. My girl prolongs or stop having oh stop having sex with me because she gets mad about everything Tell them and sex only therapy. wants to do it. But when oh. she yeah. when she wants it, I'm starting to refuse her and try and have sex with me after making it a long time. Calling an asshole is that fair? Am I an asshole for not sleeping with her on command? My girl prolongs oh, stop having so sex with me because she, she gets mad about, she about everything and only wants to do it. She wants to. I'm starting to refuse you. her trying to have sex with me after. Is it that a similar problem though? No? No, 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 because, like, that's not, because imagine the roles are reversed. I can't, he can't be like, oh, fuck me right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys can have a conversation with each other and work this out. And once again, compromise, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a if straight those guy. Two are fine, yeah, I am fascinated by the thought of also watching the stream therapy. posts up of a guy <laughs> giving another well endowed oral unit <laughs> completion eye, huh? He's the toys? What? I'm a straight I have a question. Is it gay? Okay, can you be a straight man and enjoy gay porn? Because I feel like as a straight woman, right, I can watch lesbian porn and that's still considered straight. So how come it's double standards? How come a man can't watch gay porn and be straight? Well, I know women who are straight and watch lesbian porn. How does that make sense, right? That's not fair. That's double standards, so... <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually thinking right now. <laughs> Kaylin, that, that means you're bi, yeah, you but it's your choice, it, right? you know. Which and just, porn should just be like a fantasy anyways, so... If you're turned on by watching just women... I don't know. It, you know. Oh, I sort of But, know. you know. I was talking my head around two months ago, so I jack off and use my... Oh, Kaylin, and use my cum to massage my scalp 15 minutes a day, and my hair is regrowing. But, <gasps> Wait, really? You, know. you think? <laughs> okay, people tell me that I've been lied to by men my whole life, right? I truly believe if she's, if Caitlyn is watching a video, skin. right, and it's only like, two it's women, for my skin. I like pretty clear you know, wrestling, I feel like having I, sex, I have to go to and spa, she's turned on by that, and she wants to enjoy it longer. Time, and my skin was so like, nice. It was yeah. even nicer than no pores or pimples. But that's it's weird, nice because, you know why it's weird? Because Caitlyn has also said because she doesn't, like, like unborn babies, right? uh, uh, she's afraid of other women's vaginas. Like, she said that before, so I'm just like, what? Is she just gaslighting? Babies grow like crazy. So why would not grow your hair if babies themselves grow fast? Does that make sense? See, so yeah, this actually might work. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> I'm like half trolling. I'm like trolling, but am I really trolling? I don't know. Anyways. We we have hair um, regrowing. The most amazing hormones. sex I've ever Go. had <laughs> when I was 29 and dated a coworker when she was 34. She was hot, sexy, knew exactly what she wanted, and was willing to make every one of my fantasies come true. <laughs> After about nine months, I got a phone call from a man who told me he was her husband. I found the found out he was the ex that she often referred to. It was a total shock. We I have. Not feel <laughs> we have hair regrow stuff, y'all. Damn. <laughs> At least, like, you are innocent in the situation. Like, you didn't know. You know, it's not your fault. She's at fault. It is what it some, is, right? Some strange Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. At least you had a good time, I guess. Then again, I think some of just trolls. Aww, so sad. I only get oh, one match on Tinder and Hinge once every other week. Oh, you're ugly, I think. Oh my god. Bro. It, and uh, out of those matches, only half actually respond. I feel like giving up. <laughs> Sorry, it's very sad. You guys are tell with me? the confess. Uh, okay, this woman made this person feel better. Okay, Chad, be honest. How many matches you Dating. Have? You're actually very attractive, Raj. There's no way this applies to you. Like, what? All the dating sites are overrun with bots. Don't you have a girlfriend, John? Bro. I'm not counting your answer. Three, zero, one, zero, like, ten, zero. Damn, you're also friends. But I feel like you have a lot of dating sites. You're also kind of limited. But I think for me, it's also different. Because, like, in LA, where I live, we have so many, like, there's millions 
Huntsville's in LA. A lot, okay? But like in smaller towns you have a lesser chance of getting a map, right? But that depends on where you live. True, true. Yeah, if you're in a bigger city, you know, it's just um, increased percentage but, chance to meet someone. No, but the true. thing about Tinder and Hinge, it's very shallow. It's like you don't even have photos to get a map, right? So you're most likely not ugly, just take better photos. Have a friend who is a girl or a sister, whatever, go through your profile and fix it for you. It's, it's all yeah, bigger cities, more percentage chance than these. Is LA good for dating? Uh, Hell no. Small town. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> My best friend broke up with his girlfriend, uh, and I'm low key hyped. It's, it's a numbers game. Like, if you were lived out in a farm town in, in Illinois, but like you moved to Chicago, Chicago is a, is a major city, like a top oh, 10 year city. Best friend. Okay. Probably going to well, find someone in Chicago, you know what I mean? Like, dating profiles review when? I actually do want to do it again. I get so few uh, submissions. Bingo. It's hard to do Thank you, Sonny. Also, it's like I'm losing my voice. I'm talking for two hours straight. Mm -hmm. I've been doing good for myself. Gym, sports, studies. I'm quite tall, and yet I did not find any relationship entertaining. I feel like when I get entitled or impulsive to relationship, I get bored really fast and do not always giving my attention or expressing my feelings. Any thoughts or solutions? It sounds like you don't like dating. It they sounds need, like uh, you like meeting women. I'm assuming you're a man. Psychology to help decipher, decipher the... Uh, either you haven't met the right one, or you're just not meant They're to hiding and holding back their emotions. So for me, I feel like I get bored pretty fast, too. I'm not going to lie. But with the right person, like, you don't get bored, you know? You get to see a bachelor. You know what's also the little over end? It's double standards how men can do this and be a bachelor. If a girl did this, wow, we're going to be um, expired soon. We're going to be a cat lady forever. Double standards. Oh, so I call it. Well, highlighter, do you use for your under eye? Your makeup is so pretty. Thank you. I actually have it right here. Fuck, I need to eat. I bought this from Amazon. I also have glitter <sighs> Korean palette. I use this one. And I work today. Oh, and I've been, I gotta go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep in like, like 30 dollars. minutes. I'll hit five hours and go to sleep. What takes you to do this when someone wants to tear one question grow? Uh, Judge Chad. Damn, I didn't even. Popular category. Uh, I'm trying to edit. Well, someone's not fucking boring, so I'm not the right person to give advice. Make a tutorial, please. Okay, if I had more women viewers, I would for sure do one. But I just know if I did a makeup video, I would get clipped, harassed, screenshotted. I would never. Is Caitlyn afraid of troll? Yeah, I can't do it. Caitlyn's not afraid of troll. There she is. Not to make it sound scary, but I feel like your voice is a faster with every talking stream. No, no, it's mm. this stream that always makes me lose my voice. Like, I talk nonstop. Like, I don't take breaks from talking, you know? But yeah, I don't want to talk this much normally. What is the mm. meanest thing you've ever done to Colleen? <sighs> I thought it was the truth or a drink for a second. Um, I wanted to not answer. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not right. I cannot move on because I work for her for the last three years. Move, get a new job. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I more of these situationships with coworkers. Tickle? I don't know what, what you're trying to write. My testicles together? Have you guys heard of a sperm cramp? Do you guys know what sperm cramps are? Nope. Wait, is this a real word? Tig welded? What does that mean? Tig welded. What? It's not a word. Do you believe in people selling their souls, or do you think it's just a myth? You mean like Illuminati shit? Like, oh, I sold my soul for fame? I think people use that in a metaphorical way, and people think it's like actually real, you know? Like, for example, they probably sold their soul, like they gave up their morals, they did, like, movie roles or, like, music they didn't want to do. That's what they mean by selling their souls, right? But people think, like, oh, my God, I'm not a demon. I don't believe in anything like that. But people definitely, like, sell their morals, you know? I mean, people could say I probably sold my soul. Which I didn't. I'm just, uh, me. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm 22 male. My cousin, 23 female. I've been fooling around together since we were 16. We vibe together, and we're low-key in a non-labeled relationship. At this point, we nope. haven't told our family, but at this nope. point, we're thinking of letting people know on Christmas. Oh my god, so soon. No, nope, no. Nope. Kind of want to get it over with. Hopefully, we can, we, hopefully we can be in nope. a relationship afterwards. Um, nope. If you guys, nope. this is like a real one, you guys nope. are just <laughs> only nope. adopt and don't naturally read The confessor, that's enough for me to die. Incest is actually a crime, right? Also, yeah, I better ruin Christmas forever, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I... To the confessor, that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> like, no? Nope. Like, yeah, what? Some states is fine. You know, but... 
Hell no, just, like, bro. Not. <laughs> but, like, 16 to 22, 23, that's, like, what, five, seven years of them dating? <sighs> and they already did everything at that point, no? What's the point of stopping now? Gen no. <laughs> Would you talk to a guy who has a shoddy, like, a guy who has a girl in his life? No. Would you talk to a guy who already has a girl? Just me. You drop all your hoes for me. I gave my ex-girlfriend a promise ring. Aww. Because I thought she was the love of my life. And two months later, my friends started talking to her, and now they're dating. Oh. Now I hate my life and had blank thoughts. Said she she said she loved me and got to meet her family. She self-sabotaged, and now is dating my friend. Coco had to change my schedule so I don't see his face. Damn, there's some fake-ass friends out there. Uh, like I said, <laughs> his his best his friend is also his coworker at his like job. He's now dating his girl. Yeah, tell him to move on. Tell him to pick up his spilt milk and go fucking. <laughs> The best personality and boobs on Twitch. Um. Oh my God, Frank calls. <laughs> I just saw that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I bro, know, what? I feel like I'm saying this because people call me a titty streamer. I know my tits are out. I'm aware, right? But the stuff I've been seeing on Twitch recently is like way overboard. No, like they make me seem PG. Do you guys have you, do you see what I'm talking about? I don't know if you guys are on bath or on Twitch, but it's like, I don't fucking have you. You viewers. You guys agree with me, right? Am I being a hypocrite? No, right? Yeah, there is a streamer. Actually, the streamer I'm referencing used to go into my leaderboard. This is what me and Klein do stream. I'm sure she stopped. I hope she stopped. And message all my top oilers. Like, and the, you know how I know? Because all my oilers told me and Klein, like, yeah, that girl was in her DMs. Like, trying to, like, hit on us kind of thing. This was also three years ago. I'm sure they've changed, you know. Oh, shit. Drama. Yeah. The streamer is, like, fucking naked. No. <laughs> Not even wearing a top. No, this is, like, back when me and Klein duo streamed. This was very long time ago. Drama. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I feel like... Oh, too, I shit. I be reworked, I think. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's a bit too much. In my opinion. But I'm also a hypocrite because my tits are also out. So I feel like I'm not the person to say this. You know? It's fine. If one of your best friends told you they were cheating on their partner, would you tell their partner? No, I would not. Yeah, kick is different though. Like, kick is fine. That's like, your, <laughs> kick would be to allow that, you know? Uh, you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, but honestly, yeah. no, I would not. Like, I'm very loyal, right? And I'm loyal to my best friend, not their partner. Would I condone it? No. But I'm not going to snitch on my friend. Would you guys snitch on your friend? Like, it's not really your business, right? But you know? If you, you respect because, your like, friend, you're your friend get them out of and, yeah, I, I don't think I you're I only as good as company key. <laughs> a guy wore a bejeweled cock ring? I don't think I've ever seen a cock ring ever. What's a cock ring? <laughs> I've like someone explained cock ring to me before. I don't know. I'm not as good as company. Oh, Ruby, you're a good person. I'm not that good of a person. I'll still be the friend. Okay, it's like a vibrating ring, right? It's like vibrates, and then what? <laughs> oh, I don't think I would want any cock ring. No. What? This is so long. My ex of three years hit me up. Um, so I got a new phone. We, um, blah, we hung out. He told me he was talking to the girl, saying she bought him a TV and a nice wallet while we were together. A couple of days later, she went over to his place. He was drunk texting me, calling me, saying he missed me. I told the girl she about this because it's so bad. She brought him okay. blah, 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 blah. What should I do? I've been dating for a couple months. She was trying to contact me, but I didn't say she wasn't talking, which I do. Wait, what? I'm kind of confused. That's because you called upside the moon. Your ex's new girl, he was saying this, but she got mad and blocked you. Now they're dating, and your ex is trying to contact you. Okay. Your ex sounds like a huge gap side. I feel like I dated someone like this. He probably told his new girl, like, no, my ex is crazy. She's making shit up. Don't believe her. You know what I mean? He probably made you sound like the bad guy. All you can do is just block him 
and just move on. Let the girl be the one. She'll learn eventually. That's all you can do. See, sex toy is his dick. What? What is the best way to make a move? I've been in. Also, yes, John. See, yes, I got a new mic. Can you tell? <laughs> I've been in multiple situations where girls are either friends or friends of friends have shown interest, but won't make a move. What is the best way to make them move without making friends or friends or friends have shown interest, but won't make a move? Okay, so the I'm best way is to I make the move without so making it awkward afterwards. Because I what? never know when to make a move. They have to make the move first, right? Kaylin, so, is this your confession, you Kaylin? Kaylin. Kaylin, is this your confession? <laughs> I mean, usually for me, how I let the guy know is, like, I'll start, like, doing physical touch for, I don't, like, touch him, like, sexually, right? I'll, like, touch her arm, whatever. I get very close to them. Kaylin. And, like, that's usually my signal, like, oh, he can do something, you know? But if you're ever not sure, you know, consent's very sexy, just ask. Okay, I don't think eye contact counts. I don't make eye contact with anyone, right? If I'm talking to you, I'll look you in the eyes. Eye contact, I don't think really is a good oh like, it's like really intense like you don't have any eye game you know i would say physical touch is like when you know <laughs> i really like this girl we talk about how we're single and all that we're so compatible and i have any eye kids, but i'm stuck in the friend zone uh friend zone's not real okay? okay if you are her friend that is all you are to her you'll never leave i said this earlier if you have to make them want you more than friends you shouldn't have to date them anyways because if she liked you, you wouldn't be her friend. You'd be her boyfriend, right? It's not real. This is like, you know, does that make sense? Okay, is that your second confession? Well, friends <laughs> is also kind of fucked because that means for the girl, that means uh, you're only her friend, so you can fuck her later. It's kind of messed up, no? <gasps> I record my friends' voices and use them later. Oh my god, this is another throwback to me and Colleen days when we used to like do. Me and Colleen had like our own viewers at the time, and they'd be like in a Discord VC with us, right? We found out that one of the guys in there was recording every single call we were in. He did openly share it. We we're like, what the fuck is weird? He's like, oh, it's because like I don't remember these memories forever. You know, I don't have any weird intentions. I just want to hear it forever. And we called him out. We we're pretty. I was meaner back then. So I definitely like kind of went in on him. I was like, it's fucking weird. It's creepy. Um, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And then uh, he sent me and Colin pictures of him crying, and says he'll never come back to our Discord. It was not idiot man, okay? This is like from like three years ago. He's not even three years ago. I'm right there. But yeah. I mean, was I valid for that? No, I was way meaner back in the day. I'm like actually pretty nice. No, that's fair. For now. You guys, no, Idiot Man had to do something even worse than that. Way worse. Well, his name was. Do you think it's cheating if sex with someone else while being in a terrible relationship that you can't escape from? Let's say you are in the midst of a house, you just can't move out. In my opinion, at uh, that time, it doesn't even matter. Cheating if I sexed with action. someone so while being in a terrible relationship. Bro, get out of so these relationships. I've already, there's so many if comedians that have already talked about this. So many comedians, like, he has my dog at his house. Like, get out of the relationship. Like, I don't, I oh actually, my. paper cheating but if your partner's like oh you can't leave me uh you're stuck with me um you might use another person as a way out right just it's get like, what, out it's very situational, I feel like. of the relationships cheating in relation to, no because i remember a girl oh, my dating shit. show said earlier that her boyfriend was saying that he would like off himself if she didn't stay with him and, like, her way out was to, like, cheat so, like, she could, like, find a then way she to needs, right? so, yeah, Then she needs... Then she needs for yeah, last yeah, confessor a restraining like, order like, against like, her uh, BF for... Then she needs for last confessor a restraining order against her boyfriend for emotional abuse. Like... Oh man! <laughs> like yeah, what? If I was the other person, I would tell. I think back then I wouldn't have. I would know. It's it's like emotional manipulation. It's emotional abuse. It's uh, if the if that boyfriend was have doing that thing to that girlfriend, she needs that okay, the other girlfriend needs to get the restraining order. I'm sure you guys have all seen this. That's fine. 
and the girl has a best female friend. The friend borrows a hoodie from the guy and doesn't give it back for 14 Why days. Why tell when you guys fucked? Wearing it, commenting on it. Uh, she was also posting Bet. thirst trap Instagram stories and her close friends, and she added the friend's boyfriend. Um, yeah, if you were my friend doing that shit, I would also cut you off, you know? She was definitely trying to, like, do something with that, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? You guys have been on TikTok? I'm not, I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> I'm, I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> you guys haven't seen it? The boyfriend's so hot, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I was, like, TikTok. really invested in this. The boyfriend's so hot. But you can't do that to your friend's boyfriend. But I want to show the TikToks. If anyone has them, like, on hand, please Discord DM it to me right now. I, I want to show it. A it's drama. Like, interesting. <laughs> Just you care. Drama. It's, like, very teenage... TikTok drama, but I thought it was interesting. I want to see your guys' point of view. Thank you, Jay Hearn, for 29 months. You guys care? Okay, I'm unhappy. Hoodie, boyfriend, TikTok. Can I find her? Jesus. Thank you, Jay Hearn, for 29 months. Thank you. I don't know how to find it, though. Can someone just go DM it to me? <laughs> God, God damn it, Kaylee. <laughs> God, God damn it, Kaylee. She's, she's funny. She's funny. She got jokes. She got jokes. Okay, well, I guess this is the <laughs> friend's POV. I don't know if we're getting the best friend's POV, but I hope we do. Oh. Okay, let me pause my lo-fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a uh, TikTok muted. Oops. Oh, my goodness. I would not want to like that. What, okay, what is this? This is uh, 200k likes. My boyfriend's hoodie when we're all over at his house because it's so cold. She did what? That doesn't happen in the black community. I'll tell you that, bro. Ain't no black woman in America ain't allow her boyfriend's hoodie to be on another girl's body. <laughs> It was a basic ass Nike hoodie, by the way. It was a basic bland hoodie. Is she moving in? <laughs> she, she loved the smell of her boyfriend. That's not her boyfriend. Or not. Ooh, 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 shit. You and I both know bays. That sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like, we were living together. Wait, why was his uh, best friend's boyfriend mounting her TV? Go on Task Rabbit. We were living together. We were roommates. Um, so they were together. We were, us three were together in my room mounting the TV. And, like, maybe we were spending some fun. And then, like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted, and he did it. So I was like, oh, my God, like, I'm so thankful. Let me yeah, she wanted, uh... <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. Chance, like, like. Do you have a sandwich secured for you? Girl. Come pick it up before work tomorrow, so you can eat it before it's spoiled. Cause why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil? You know? She came with him. First one she bought. Okay, there's more to it. So also, uh, not mentioned the video. Basically, after the best friend met her boyfriend <laughs> once, she added the boyfriend on her close friend's Instagram story. You guys know what that is? It's like a close friend story, whatever. It's like a private story, right? And she started posting like thirst traps in it, like sex. And I don't, I don't know what pictures she's posting, but like trying to like get attention. I think adding your friend's boyfriend the first time you meet him, your close friend is fucking weird, no? This is idiot. It's like TikTok teenage drama, whatever. But yeah, I think the best friend's lying, and the fact that uh, she would wear his hoodie for weeks and posting in it. Yeah, no, I'm on the girlfriend side for sure. I want to check out the boyfriend. He's so cute. I don't remember his name. You guys remember the name? Anyone? Show the boyfriend. I want to think it's so bad. But, um, I don't know. I, I saw his Instagram. Where is he? Oh my god, I want to find it so badly. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. The, the girlfriend's right, but yeah. Oh my god, I guess I'll never. Oh, it's John C.S. Yes, Anthony or no? Wait, John C.S., yes, can you find the boyfriend? <laughs> Wait, hoodie drama BS. I know he went on private. He uh, closed his Instagram comments for a while. 
It's gone. No, I can't find it. I need to find it. I'm doing some research oh. right now. Oh my god. New poll? <laughs> no, oh, I want to find the boyfriend. My schedule. Uh, I gotta check my schedule. Yeah. What? She's saying that I. Okay, yeah, I can't find it. Okay, anyways, back to confessions. <laughs> you can't find it either? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, next one. Uh, let's say you work for a company and you don't have a contract of employment. They do pay you monthly for a job, but they also use you because they underpay you a lot and they use you because you're not a legal worker. If you steal from them to make a bit more, do you think it's... Oh, I found the boyfriend! Thank you, John Diaz! Oh my god, he's so hot! Oh, it's a picture, not a actual video, but this is him, guys! Oh my... He's cute. Uh, but no. Why well, I guess I'm a plain old dude. What? <laughs> What's the funny drama? I just explained it. Oops, sorry. Wasn't that? Okay. Uh, we found his Instagram. Oh my god, Jason, give me his Instagram. Give me the at. I can look it up. That's hot. Yes. That's the most basic. Okay. Men's standards are crazy. Cause that's not hot. Dude, standard. what? Dude, where is? Yeah, drop the at, Jason, now. <laughs> um. Dude, wearing a white oh, tee and jeans. Oh, like, what? It's like I just like to look from afar. It's like ten dollar jeans and a five dollar shirt. <laughs> what? I do like Korean men, yes. And so what if I do? <gasps> oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's do a little Instagram review. Let me make sure nothing leaks. Okay. Okay, I don't really care about body. We have a nice body, yeah. He has a very nice body. He dresses cute. He has a nice jawline. Nice cute little bum. Oh my. He's very handsome. I don't care about gym stuff. Oh, that's gonna drop him, by the way. <laughs> Anyways. Happy. Yay. Is he not so handsome? Okay. Stop posting the girlfriend. <laughs> I'm a hater. He's so cute. I think I don't. Ladies only want cute butts, large pecs, big okay, triceps, sure, and jawline, sure. <laughs> sure. Did, you, did I say Erwan? Yeah, he goes to Erwan. How tall do you think he is? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, sorry. I need to stop looking. What? Okay. Dude's not I'm even. Not follow him. I'm not going to follow him. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> sorry. After you see his Instagram. Can you blame the best friend? Yes, you can. So I'm not gonna DM him. Why would I DM him? I'm not gonna steal him. I don't think he wants me anyways. Oops, do you think? Just kidding. Okay, anyways, we'll move on. Um, what is your favorite body part and muscle? <laughs> also, dad bot or fist bot? Be specific. Oh, you know, I'm glad you we had this confession. You wanna see the perfect body? This. This is my favorite part. Oh, um, yeah, really good timing. the abs. No, I see. okay. Honest answer. I actually do not care about body at all. If a guy has a dad bod, I really don't care. I actually find uh -huh. uh, like putting a guy with a dad bod is way more comfortable, you know, because it's like more squishy, you know. Because I'm like pretty bony. I'm not gonna lie. It's like bone on bone. It's just like a little bit too rough. So if you have like a little bit of fun to grab, it's it's nice, right? But also, if you have, like, a nice body, I don't mind either. I, I, I really don't care. No preference. <laughs> She's smiling. Ooh, not gonna She's smiling. I already She's said this smiling. many times, so I'm not going to answer again. Actually, ideal PB size? Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, me and my friends with benefits, situation shit, watch your stream while you suck. She was the one who showed me your stream. She said, turns you on here and your voice will suck. There's, there's no way this is real. She dreams of having a threesome with you in another life. Okay, I know this is fake because I have been told multiple times that my voice is very annoying and they have to watch me on mute so they can finish. So, definitely not true. 
Okay, I have a different question. Have you guys ever uh, watched Twitch while you had sex? I have. <laughs> but okay, in my defense, I leave like streams tab, right? So it just happened to be on. Or are you like watching and no, but it's there. Oh, you guys haven't? Oh. I just burp, sorry. <laughs> okay, you're not a guy, so imagine you are a guy, okay? Okay, I have a big dick, yes. Imagine you don't want kids, but also you like sex. Do you really need to only have sex with infertile girls? Wait, what? In my opinion, agreement, we don't have kids from both sides. Both sides should be enough, and no, you shouldn't go back on your word situation. If you want kids, find a guy that wants kids too. I mean, yeah, I guess. I kind of like doing this, making him a father against his will to a guy it's someone like, huh? Oh yeah, I don't understand where we're trying to go with this, but yes, if you want children and your partner does not, you guys are not compatible, don't be together. That's it, yeah? You don't have to be like infertile, just find a girl who also does not want kids. Or men, you guys can get a vasectomy pretty easily, I heard. Um, did you get one? If you really are that anti-having children. If your advice is to never date coworkers, what do I do? She's shown interest in me. I'm so into her. Okay. Someone said easily. I heard it hurts. Easy as in like it's a procedure. You go in, you're out in like 10, 15 minutes, and you come out same day, able to walk. That's what I mean by e I'm sure it hurts. Okay, but like compared to a woman like going under the st like under a knife, like under like a intense surgery to get her. Um, what do you even do for women? I don't know what they do for a woman, but I know for a woman, it's much harder in comparison, okay? And yeah, my sections are reversible most of the time, so yeah, you're fine. Yeah, getting their tubes tied, yeah, that's way more intense, and that's not reversible. Okay, the reason why I'm against uh, dating coworkers is because I used to work in a law firm that employment law, if you and your coworker break up and like, you are in a place of power over her or him, whatever, you get sued and it's so messy, I don't think it's even worth it. Okay? What are the story? Um, basically, I mean, Dating I'm on the wrong side, obviously, well. but there was like a girl who was like, what, 19, 20, maybe even 21, very, very young, right? Going to 21 for sure. And she was dating her boss, who was like 30, 40, and married, okay? It was consensual, by the way, all consensual. But I guess after a while she realized like oh i don't want to do this anymore and she sued him uh this guy had like a wife and children by the way the whole marriage everything ruined because she changed her mind about him but like in her defense though she was very young and he was her boss so like he obviously had like so much power over her yeah easy money for her but like is it even worth it this is a very extreme example obviously but i always think about that what are their equals in the same age um I think of other cases I remember. I mean, people can spin things, you know what I mean? But yeah, usually it only works if they're a boss, I'm not gonna lie. Streamer in chat, let's say you have a partner and you like how they look, but after two years you stop caring, so now you don't like it. What do you do? You can't say, hey, get yourself together and lose kilograms or you break up, that'd be evil. But I also think you shouldn't be forced to stay with someone you no longer find attractive. Ooh. I like to think that after two years of dating, you like them for their personality and who they are as a person, right? I'm gonna be honest, I am kind of shallow. If I lost, like, all physical attraction towards you, can I still be with you? I'm kind of fucked up, though, so... I don't know. <laughs> Stop worrying. No, Mr. Six, you are been attractive, always attractive. This is not a party to you. Okay, this is how I am, you know? I'm pretty blunt, right? If we were dating for two years... And I feel like you kind of like stop taking care of yourself. You might look different. I would tell you straight to your face. Is that mean? I wouldn't say anything mean. Be like, oh, you're fat now. I would never ever even say that. But I'd be like, hey, I noticed like you know you don't really go to the often. You don't eat healthy and whatever. I would try to say something, you know. And they're not willing to like change and take care of themselves. I would probably break up. Is that bad to say? That's my honest answer. But that's like the extreme. If you gain like 20, 30 pounds, whatever, right? It's light. But if you like gain like 100, obviously, you know, I'm gonna probably say something. Just be being honest, okay? Oh my god, what? Chat, let's say you have a wife, but then you have an accident. You're partially paralyzed. Your legs don't work. Your penis does not work. Do 
you think it's ethical to save your wife, you cannot have sex with anyone else. Ooh. Let me think of, if my husband was paralyzed, and his dick doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, I just remember strap-ons exist. We do have strap-ons. Oh my god, my back! I divorced! Divorced! Okay, let me reverse the roles. Okay, why it seems so terrible. Let's say your wife is paralyzed. Because... And you can no longer... Her vagina just closes up the whole shut. And she's telling you can never have sex with anyone else. What would you honestly do, chat? Be honest right now. What would you do? See, if I was the wife, I would, you know, I would tell my husband, you know what, you can't have sex with other people. So you guys said you would leave, right? I would actually allow my husband to have sex with other people as long as he, is that, wait, am I a cuss? No, I'm not a cuss. I'm not. But, like, you have to still be with me. I, I think? No, I'm not a cuss, but... I understand that people have needs, right? So, as long as you are still with me, you're loyal to me, you don't date anyone else or have emotional attachment to anyone else, yeah, you can. But that's only that, this in your house. This is the only one scenario where I allow that. Any other scenario, hell no. Yeah, I'm not a cuck, though, at all. <laughs> Chat and streamer. Oh my god, I know this TikTok. This is, I hate this TikTok. Oh, wait, I want to show this TikTok, too. Because I actually had a different opinion than my, my chat. You go on a first date with a girl for drinks. You say you will pay. She proceeds to order a full course meal and four additional plates full of oysters. Do you pay for this or do you bail? And what do you think of chat's answer? No, I need to show the TikTok for like better context. She ordered like four dozen oysters. Oysters, how do I plan this? Like I just heard the oyster TikTok. Oyster. Oh, I'm looking at <laughs> Oyster first date. Oh my god, John CS is on a shit. Thank you so much. Thank you, John CS. He found it. I, I need a mod you, but the way you're finding these talks is actually crazy. Um, hold please. Yeah, I already know my answer from chat to me is so different. I don't care. Yeah, maybe Mold, the first time I watched this. She was on her first date. So a woman ordered four big plates of oysters on her first date, and her date decided to get up and leave after watching her flirt 48 oysters and eat a full course meal. The woman's date decided to tell her he was going to the bathroom, then he basically left without telling her he's leaving. As wait, 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 this video leaves out some context, okay? So, the oyster, it was like happy hour, I think, and 12 dozen oysters for happy hour was like 15 a platter, if I remember correctly. So, 15 times 4. Sixty dollars. Sixty. She orders sixty dollars of oysters. In my opinion, that's so cheap for oysters. That's not bad, right? Yeah. The forty oysters cost sixty dollars. Result of this, the woman had to pay the entire bill. But what's even worse, after the woman realizing it's been hours and he didn't come back from his trip to the restroom, she texted him saying running out on a tab is crazy. His reply was, I offered to take you out for drinks and you ordered all of that food. Then he said I can cash app you the total for the drinks. To her, they basically said he's not paying for the food, but he wouldn't mind paying for his drink and hers. Now, a lot of people find this quite fair since it seems like the day was supposed to be just for drinks, but the woman instead ordered four plates of oysters. No, I'm actually on her side. I already know chat's going to disagree with me. I'm on her side. If you're gonna take a girl out uh, to a place that has like food and drink and get mad at her for ordering food and they're only $60, I just think like, why would you even go on a date? If you can't afford $60 worth of food. Also, I live in LA where everything's inflated, so it's very cheap. Guys, going to dinner in LA for two people is like over $100 minimum. Yeah, you know, like 100, so 100 is fine. Is Maybe more. For that amount of food, especially if it's not I don't know. You're still in charge? Like I said, I live in LA, right? <sighs> area, so. She ordered entrees and all. Okay, I think that. Like, if, if, if I'm dating someone. 60 of oysters. I think it was like 120. Total. I don't remember the cost. I'm on her side! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, if I'm taking someone out, we spend less than 100. 
please, like, you know, like, <laughs> like, like, what? I don't know. I'm like, not spending 120. If you want to see her go out and you're going to get disappointed or, like, mad at her and walk out on her for ordering food, obviously, I think what she, she was kind of extreme, right? She ordered way too much. I agree. But don't take a girl out of your dog's second date. Bro, what? And, you know what I mean? Right. And I don't think 60 is that much for that amount of food at all. Bro, I ain't pressed on 60 also, bucks. Also, the TikTok is mostly scripted and fake, okay? I watched the original, it was definitely fake. But yeah, I want her side, I want her side. Huh? I agree to that, but I don't think she signed up to watch her order that much food. I ain't pressed on 60 okay, bucks, I think like... I Bill was like... Ain't nothing, like what? I'd be like, the fuck, yeah, what? <laughs> but, I mean, he could've ate some too. No one's stopping him from eating some of them. But anyways, the video is fake anyways, it doesn't even matter. And like, if he was that bothered, instead of walking out on her, just be like, hey, like, you're kind of ordering more than I expected, you know? Say something, don't just fucking walk out. Pussy! Okay, anyways, back to my, um, my home crossing playlist. Is it bad that I never did anyone? I'm 22. Um, I think that's normal nowadays. I feel like most people who are 22, uh, because it's like COVID, right? Okay, uh, for those of you 22 and under in chat, have you guys ever dated? No, aw, it's kind of sad. Just kidding. No, yeah, you're so young. There's so much time for that. <laughs> oh, see, Mr. Six did not date until he was 23. And he's still single at 23. Just kidding. <laughs> so mean. Oof. Sad. <laughs> Wait, what? I counter you. I counter your. If they don't show you to their friends and family, they're hiding you. No, no, no. Okay, this is. I guess I said this at one point. If your partner does not introduce you to their friends and family, they're definitely hiding you. Or they're not serious about you. That's true, no? It's like common sense. Okay, what about your boyfriend with meth? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is a game. Let's do it first of all. What about your boyfriend with his meth-addicted father and their thief mother? Would you be mad if he did interview your family? No, she really yeah, likes the dude. Like and she uh, feels her parents... Mom wasn't Aren't the best of people? Then hopefully. You know what's crazy? I actually met his parents the first time I ever met him. BF understands. Yeah, he can even show me his family. Anyone can. She really likes yeah. this. Yeah. If they don't introduce you, they're Because her parents you. aren't the best of people. Oh. <laughs> I'm currently jacking off to Michael for a few rounds. Who wrote this? I'm, I'm gonna say. Let me read chat. It is definitely big fat dog wrote this. Ooh, question for straight guys. Let's say you're in a zombie apocalypse. You run into a school building. You are in a. Room. Oh my! I've done. What? I got laundry to go. 